In today's video, I'm gonna teach you how to properly set up your Mac to an external display. We're gonna jump from the screen recording to the iPhone at certain points, just so you can see what happens when you do things like plug the dock in and press different buttons. If you do like this video, of course, let me know by giving a thumbs up. If you're in a supercharged way, your computer, hit that subscribe button as well. That being said, let's get into this. So you can see I've got my Mac here and my external monitor that we're just gonna plug in via USB-C through a docking station. Any USB-C port on the Mac is gonna work. Then give it a couple of seconds for the Mac to recognize the second monitor. Now that it's picked it up, what you'll notice is that the, um, the Mac is duplicating. So whatever you see on the Mac screen is happening on the secondary display as well. And I don't think that is the best way of using a secondary screen. So what we're gonna do is actually go into our settings and tell the Mac use this as a second monitor so we can have different programs on different screens. The best way to do this is go into our settings. And then in the search option, we're simply going to type in display. We're gonna select on the first option of displays. And this will show us that we have our built-in Mac display. And then of course the recognized Philips monitor, if we select on that, you'll also see that the menu and the options we have are different depending on the display. Right now we have our Mac set as the main display and the Philips is set to mirror the built-in display. We're gonna change that right now. We're gonna drop this down and we're gonna say stop mirroring. Automatically, what happens is the Philips recognizes or the Mac recognizes it's a secondary display and we can go ahead and move items from one to the other, but the scrolling is kind of annoying. Uh, one thing you also notice, because I've used this monitor before, is that the Philips is already set as our main display. But if you're doing this for the first time, it won't be like that. It will actually be set as the extended display. What that means is that the Mac screen is the main display until you tell it otherwise. And the big difference there is that the dock and when applications open, they open up on the main display, which is great. But if you've got a big screen like this one, you probably want to utilize the bigger screen more than the Mac screen itself. So down the bottom here, and I'm actually just going to bring this up so it's easier for you to see on the screen. What you'll see here is that we have select Philips and instead of the use as option as extended display, we're going to select Philips being the main display. And what happens there is that the dock appears on our Philips screen here and then we can use our Mac as our secondary display. So we can have other things running here, but the easiest way of using it is of course having the dock on your main display. One thing you might notice is that I'm struggling a little bit to jump from one screen to the other, and that's because of the orientation of how these displays are set up on the computer. So let me drag all the way to the right, grab this display, then push it all the way to the left to bring it back here. The reason for this is that if we select on the arrange option, so we have our two monitors here, then we select on arrange, the computer thinks that they are physically side by side. It thinks that on the left side, we have the Philips, then it thinks right next to it, we have the Mac. And that way it's asking you to move things from left to right. But as you can see physically, we have the Philips here and then our Mac underneath it. So we're simply gonna grab our built-in display and move it underneath. And that shows us that I have the Mac physically here, and then I've got the Philips up top, and I'm gonna select on done. So this allows me to drag items from the top to the bottom and the bottom to the top really easily. One thing I will call out here though, is that you may have noticed that the dock, so where all our applications are, have moved back down to the Mac. I've noticed that this is a bit of a bug, that if you have the displays arranged in Anyway, except for this current orientation, the dock stays up the top. So if we move our main display to the right or our Mac display to the right, the dock pops up. If we move it over to the top, for example, the dock stays there. But as soon as we move our Mac underneath our Philips display, the dock reverts back onto your Mac. So if you're using your Mac in this configuration, and you tell the screens that your Mac is underneath and your Philips is up top or your secondary display is up top, I haven't found a way of forcing the dock to move from the bottom and always stay here. So we can have it in any other orientation and the dock moves up top, but if we have it down the bottom, for some reason, 
the dock just doesn't want to move from down here. So while we have the display set up in this current configuration, I do want to show you that even if we right click and go into the dock settings, so on our dock settings here, give it one second, you can actually choose the position on the screen. If we select to move it to the left or to the right, it does actually move it onto our secondary display. But if we put it to the bottom, I guess the Mac just knows that you are using this as a one large vertical display or they are side by side. So it will keep it there at the bottom. If you do want to move it to your second screen while you have it in this horizontal or uh, while you have it in this layout with the one with the screen at the top and the bottom, you can always use the position to the left and the right. Uh, but for now, I can't actually get it running on this second screen here. There is a trick online where they say if you move your mouse down to the bottom where the dock should be for a couple of seconds, it does pop up. Uh, but on this latest update, um, it doesn't seem to be working. One thing I did want to mention is that if you also select on the arrange options, you do have the option to relocate the menu bar by dragging it from a different or to a different display. So you can simply select on the menu bar here and drag it and drop it from the top or to the bottom for whatever suits your preferences. And there you have it. That is how you can configure your Mac to a secondary monitor. If you like this video, let me know by giving it a thumbs up. And if you're a super chat to raise your computer, hit that subscribe button as well. Thanks for watching. And we'll see you next time. Bye.